Welcome to Budget TV, my name is Fabrizio Poli and today we're going to be answering the question is it cheaper to charter a private jet or to own a private jet? Now, this is a question I get asked a lot um, and we're going to look at an example here on a Goldstream G650 which is an aeroplane with you know seven and a half thousand mile range uh, can get you you know very comfortably across the Atlantic this is what a lot of people use it for these long distance flights uh, you know it's going to cost you about $11,400 per hour or about nine and a half thousand euros per hour on a charter so if you are uh, flying from new york to london that charter will probably cost you about one hundred and sixty thousand um, dollars you can carry you know quite a few people on this um usually six people six to eight would be maximum you would carry uh, on a long flight like that um so you know you work out the cost if it's let's say five passengers it's thirty two thousand dollars per passenger uh, for a flight across the atlantic there and back so that's how much that charter would cost. Now, if you owned a G650 or you leased it, um, of course, you've got two costs you've got to look at. You've got the fixed cost and the, and the direct operating cost. Now, the fixed cost are things like, uh, you know, your pilots, the pilot training, the hangar, uh, the airplane itself. So whether you're leasing the airplane, you're going to be paying that lease payment every month or you've had it financed by the bank, you, it's going to cost you. Or even if you pay cash, the depreciation on the airplane is going to be a, about five to six million dollars a year depending if you bought it new or, or, or pre-owned. Um, so you've got the depreciation on the airplane as well. Now, the direct operating costs of an airplane like that is just about under $7,200 an hour. Uh, and of course, fuel is, is rising in price at the moment, so that, that may increase. Uh, now, on the fixed cost, it will depend how you operate. Um, if you're going to be flying the airplane with just two pilots or three pilots or four pilots or six uh, depending how many you employ, are you going to have a flight attendant on board or not? But you know, overall, I would say if, if you've got three pilots and a flight attendant, you're going to be spending about eight hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year in in your uh, fixed cost. Now, you've obviously got to build into that your, your leasing. So if you're going to lease the airplane, the lease is usually about one percent of the value of the airplane. So on a fifty-four million dollar you know pre-owned G six fifty, um, you're going to be spending about six point five million a year. Uh, for the lease um, and that works out for 400 hours it's about $16,200 an hour um, for for the lease add you know the, the other bits on it and you, you you're well in the twenty two twenty three thousand dollars an hour uh, which is how much it's going to cost you compared to chartering so obviously charter is a lot cheaper than owning an airplane uh, but you know um, and, and charter if you're gonna fly a couple of times a year across the Atlantic it's probably a and you're not going to be doing many long distance flights it's probably the best option uh, but you know the uh, way the charter market's going right now if you want to charter something big like a g650 you're going to have to book at least a couple of weeks in, in advance so gone are the days where you could ring up this morning and, and see if you could get an airplane out for the next day uh, that's not going to happen and these airplanes are very busy right now so the advantage of owning your own airplane is that it's available 24 7. So um, even though it's costing you, and, and, and again, the cost will depend on your circumstance. If you pay cash for it, um, is it financed? Are you leasing? Um, what type of finance deal have you got? Some people get better deals than others. Uh, so there's all sorts of, you know, that number can come down depending uh, on your circumstance. But the uh, advantage of having your own jet, uh, besides the fact that it's available 24 seven, you know, in, in these days of, you know, COVID-19 and that, you know, that air, the crew is, you know, checked by you make sure they're healthy uh, no surprises uh, the airplane is clean you've had a disinfectant it's just you using the airplane you know all the people that are going to be on the airplane you know these are kind of the advantages of having your own airplane and operating your own airplane uh, and you have to sort of evaluate it is does is that what value does that have for me and my business uh, but you know overall uh, answering the question of this video it is cheaper to charter than to own an airplane but the advantage of owning is the fact that you own it um, and it's available 24 7 and you can spring into action tomorrow morning uh, do your flight from London to New York short notice you can do it if you own the airplane but if you're gonna charter especially the long distance airplanes you're gonna have to organize yourselves at least two weeks in advance so question uh, for some people that is a good thing to do and, and buy an airplane and ride on the depreciation again the depreciation um, and the taxation on that uh, will depend on where you live in the US there is quite a favorable um, uh, tax situation at the moment with private jets and depreciation depends also 
on which um, state you're in. So in the US, it differs from state to state. So I always recommend that you speak to uh, your local uh, tax attorney that uh, understands aircraft and, and see where that fits for you. So it very much is um, a tailor-made situation here with a private jet. If it's good for you to charter or buy, um, it really depends on your circumstance. So I always recommend that you speak to an aviation advisor before you go ahead and do this. So if you haven't subscribed to Bishop TV, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. Give us a thumbs up and comment below. What do you think? Um, have you chartered? Have you owned? Um, how do you find the difference between the two? and the convenience and that. And let's get the conversation going here below and check these other videos on BizJet TV to continue your education on private jets. And that's all from Fabrizio Poli on BizJet TV and I'll see you on the next one.